Welcome! And so in this video, we're going to go ahead and create our augmented reality basketball app. Okay, so let's just open up Xcode 9 and then let's click on the icon which says create a new Xcode project. And let's make sure that the augmented reality canvas is still currently selected and then we'll click on next. And let's just call this product AR Basketball. Okay, and then we'll click on next and then on create. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to just go into the storyboard. Okay, and in the storyboard, we're going to be presented with the AR SCN view. Now, record what we've said the AR SCN view is. We've said that the AR SCN view is the main view in which in which all virtual objects are rendered onto okay and so without this view we wouldn't be able to experience the illusion of augmented reality okay and so all we're going to do is to select the view okay and then delete it <laughs> okay so the reason we've deleted it is because for our app we want to implement some buttons okay and it's not possible or we're not able to place buttons directly onto the AR SCN view okay we have to first place a UI view Okay, so in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to type in UI view. Okay, and right here we have the view. Okay, and we're just going to drag it onto the view controller, which is great. And then we're going to type in ARSCN view. Okay, and so this is just what we've deleted. Okay, so we're just going to drag it into the, into the top left hand corner, and then we'll stretch it. And once we've done this, we're going to add four constraints, okay? So click on this icon, which says add new constraints, and let's add four constraints. So one, two, three, four, okay? And make sure that the constraints are all set to zero, okay? And then once you've done this, click on add four constraints, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is to click on the view controller, which is the second icon from the top, or the second element from the top, and then we're going to right click okay and what we're going to see is the scene view now the scene view is normally connected to the main view but because we deleted the main view the connection was also deleted okay and so what we now need to do is to connect the scene view to the main view okay and so all we're going to do is press on this icon right here the plus icon and then drag it onto the main view okay and as you can now see the connection has been made okay and so now that we've done this, let's go and import our models, okay? So in this section, there's going to be a corresponding folder, okay? And this folder is going to contain all the models and icons needed to complete this section. So download it, okay? And once it's been downloaded, click on this folder right here, okay? So the art.scn assets folder, and then right click, and then click on add files to art.scn assets, okay? And so I have the folder on my desktop, so I'm just going to locate it. Then we're going to go into the model folder and we're just going to select the hoop. Okay, so click on add. Okay, and we'll see that the hoop has now been imported. Okay, and once we've done the hoop, we're now going to do the 2D images and the icons. Okay, so select this folder right here. Okay, and this is the folder for 2D images and icons. Okay. So again, locate the downloaded folder, but this time go into the icons and 2D assets folder, click on control A to select all the elements in the folder, and then just drag the elements into the folder, into uh, the assets folder, okay? And what you'll see is that we have the delete icon, okay? And we also have the basketball skin, okay? And so now that we've done this, so now that we have imported the models and the 2D assets, Let's go and see the hoop, okay? So right here we have the basketball hoop, okay? And this is the hoop that's going to be floating around when we run the game, okay? It does look pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, so this is going to be for this video. And so far we have reinstantiated the storyboard as well as imported our models and our 2D graphics, okay? And so I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.